In this video, I upgrade this old entertainment system in my car with this new one from Copyright. Well, sort of. So yes, I am here in my car. You probably guessed that. This is uh, a 2012 Range Rover Evoque. Uh, it does have a screen here, which is a touch screen, and it was very nice for the time, but we're now sort of almost 12 years later and things have changed a bit. So this screen doesn't do navigation. It doesn't do Android Auto. It doesn't do Apple CarPlay, any of those things, obviously. So in this video, I'm gonna uh, use this CarPuride, which I hadn't heard of before, but they look good. Uh, sort of really widescreen display to put up here as sort of an extra way of um, using all the mod cons in my car because this thing has wireless wi-fi it has bluetooth it can play music there's a dash cam in it uh it does carplay it does android auto it does airplay android cast uh, there's many many <laughs> um icons on the box um even more there as well so that's the plan um i'm not quite entirely sure how to mount it nor how it's going to integrate with this if anything um but yes, there is car content on my channel. I did warn <clears throat> you, if you watched my little intro a uh, long time ago, that that might happen. Um, and it's tech, right? So I'm gonna combine car and tech, which are two of my favorite things. Um, so let's first see what's in this, in the box, um, and, and install it, I guess. All right, let's unbox this thing. Eh. All right, as you'd expect, the screen's up front and center here. <laughs> Right, I've just changed camera angle because it was difficult because it's slopey and it slides off. But anyway, here's the stuff in the box. We have the screen, which is uh, a 9.3 inch widescreen. Um, that, of course, is the main thing that you uh, that we want to see. It's actually really, really nice. It looks really shiny, 9.3 inches, 1080p screen. Uh, it's very wide, so I'm hoping it won't protrude too much into the field of view of the driver. That's the plan. Um, it has here a, uh, what is that, 3.5 jacks, so that's for audio I'm assuming. Uh, it has a SD card, it actually comes with an SD card, 64 gigabyte SD card. Uh, it has a AV in, very there, very good. And it has the type C USB which is for charging. Um, so that's the screen. And then in here we also have, here's the mount the suction cup mount. So there's three ways of mounting this in your car. So it should fit most cars, I would imagine. So here we have the suction cup mount. There's a suction cup. And this is adjustable in many ways, etc. I'm probably gonna put it on the windscreen like that and have it hanging out. That's what I'm thinking, there's birds, hello. Um, so that's suction cup mount. You can put this on the dash or you can put it on the windscreen. So that's two ways. So that. And uh, then there's the third way, which is with this dash mount. And you get this double-sided tape in here. There it is. That you then mount it on the dash and you and attach the screen to that. So that's the third way you can mount it. And then we have a extra uh, suction cup gasket grommet something. Uh, yep, sure. And this, because the W903, which is a great name for a model, um, comes with a rear dash cam as well, a rear camera. So there's the camera, and then obviously I've got to route this to the back of the car from the front, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, but that's, that's so you get dash cam out the back on that screen. Obviously that's mainly what the SD card's for, I, SD card, I believe. Um, not for storing music and stuff like that, only. it's for the dash cam. So there's uh, the wire for that, and then we have the power cable which goes into the 12 volt in your car. So here's a standard 12 volt uh, that most cars have. And here has a USB in here so you don't hawk it. You can actually still attach a USB for power as well. And there's USB-C to power the screen. Uh, there's a manual and there is a three and a half mil audio jack here as well that you can use, I guess, plug in your iPod touch or something. I don't know. Um, that's it. That's all there is in the box. So let's start with installing that screen with this mount on the windscreen and plug it in and see what, what happens. Yeah. 
Okay, let's try and um, install it. So here's the screen. I'm hoping it'll sit about there is the plan because then there's plenty of view from the driver here to sit out over it. So that's the plan there. So we're going to use the mount here, which goes on there to put it on. So how does this work? That, oh, that extends. Oh, nice. Okay. So we probably need to set it like that there. And then we can move that, that thing loosens there. So, oh yeah, that's not bad actually. So what do you reckon? Yeah, we'll try that. Okay. So off with the special film and release the suction. So let's try and put it, Ooh, we got a guess, aren't we? So that goes in there. So about there, I reckon. That's not bad. So, oh, sorry, my head was in the way, but it's tricky. So we're gonna tighten the mount, which you can't see right now. And there it sits. Interesting. Right, I'm just gonna adjust that ever so slightly upwards like that. And we're gonna secure that. All right. Oh, that's a little bit wonky, but there we go. Okay, so time will show if that is going to be annoying when you drive, but it's 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 there, it's there. All right. Okay, so let's put the 12 volt plug in. Oh, and that's a nice long cable. That's really long. So you can put that, I can put that in the boot probably. Oh, that's a lot. That's probably like two meters, three meters. That's a long cable. Wow. All right. So let's pluck this side in. All right, so I'm not gonna worry about cable management for now, I'm just gonna plug it in and we'll see. So there's gonna be a bit of a ungainly, I'm gonna figure out where to put that. Maybe I can go up behind. Anyway, all right, let's try and turn it on. I'm gonna turn on to accessories here. Okay. I have it upside down. It's on though. Let's just turn it around, shall we? That's the beauty of live um, live shooting. I didn't rehearse this, obviously. And all because all the doors are open, the car dings, and that's annoying. Oh, come on. Okay, so now the cable's over there. All right, we're there, good. So there you go. Let's just explore, shall we? So we have home brightness here, I guess. It's on auto, so we can put it up. Yeah, okay, let's just leave it on auto, that's good. We have volume, which I'm just gonna take off for the minute, because that's a bit annoying. Uh, I don't know what that one does. Oh, oh, that's going, so you can see at the front there. This, like, that's the camera there. Hello. So obviously we can adjust this because we don't necessarily want that suction cup in there. Okay, that's not a bad image, is it? it says Ultra HD, but that's not bad. And obviously we can adjust this, you know, etc. Oh yeah, that's not bad. So we can record, I'm assuming. Stopping record. Starting record. Okay, what else can we do? There's a locked video. I'm not sure exactly what that does. Um, that took a photo. Oh, we go back to home. Okay, let's just go into that. What is this one doing? CarPlay, okay. Connect to CarPlay. Why is that in that camera app? Okay, sure, all right. Uh, and then we have a microphone here. I'll turn the microphone off and on. All right, very good, let's go back to home. So that's the, the dash cam there. Uh, CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, I'm gonna explore that a little bit later in the video, but we have both CarPlay and Android Auto. It'd say here, switch to Android Auto. Oh, okay, let's just do that actually. Prompting, it's probably gonna ask for a phone. Yeah, this is the same screen. Okay, never mind. I will do that later in the video. AirPlay for, um, Apple, Android Cast for Android. Wi-Fi video. Switch to Wi-Fi video mode? I'm not sure, we'll get back to that as well. <laughs> and then we have setting. So this, I thought this would run Android. So can I install apps, for example? We have a screensaver. Turn off, yeah, I don't really need a screensaver. Driving position, left, <laughs> left, right. 
<laughs> Left rudder, right rudder. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm assuming that means the steering wheel, <laughs> but we're gonna go with right rudder. Sure. Um, split screen mode, we're gonna have two things on there, okay. Um, brightness, oh, that's the same as we were before, okay. Assistive touch. Turn on, okay, I don't, not sure exactly what it is. And clear connections, okay, we don't need to do that. Here's the camera, camera format, 1080p, that's good. Record resolution, uh, record record resolution, 1080p, 2.5K. 1080p obviously uses less space on the SD card, so yeah. Split time, not sure what that is exactly. Uh, microphone, turn on. So this is basically the same as we saw before on the camera, but a little bit more. Uh, reverse line calibration. Okay, that will be for when we connect the rear camera, I suspect. Um, and then we have system, language, tip sounds, that would be dig, 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 voice control, date time, storage info, format the whole thing, factory reset it, and firmware version. Okay, so, that's it. I'm assuming you can't install apps on it. Well, I don't think you can because you're supposed to use CarPlay or Android Auto for that. So that kind of makes sense. That makes it easy. So I've just attached the rear camera. So you can see now there are two images on here. There's the front on the left and the rear on the right. Now I haven't done any cable management or anything, but it just plugs in on the side there. Little focus just up there on the side. Um, pretty simple, plug it in and that's it. Um, however, I think, I'll just go around the back here, it's meant for on the exterior, but I've actually added, attached it there. Uh, if you look at the uh, camera now, you should be able to see me. Hello. Um, because the double-sided tape doesn't actually work on the window or the plastic that was in there. So uh, hence the uh, beautiful tape job for this test. Um, but I think it's meant to sit sort of like here or something or up there but i already got one that comes with the car so i just sort of didn't need that so this hello bird so this doubles both <laughs> allowed as a reversing camera and a rear dash cam it does both because if you attach it properly and like permanently there is this red wire here so that red wire here you attach that to your rear brake light and then when you put it in reverse, the camera will actually come on as a reversing camera. So that's kind of neat. Um, obviously, I haven't done that here. As you can see, it's loose. Um, but yeah, there's my beautiful tape job. Um, obviously, don't do that when you install it permanently. But yeah, the double-sided tape just didn't work at all with what I had here, glass and that plastic. So that's the rear camera. So um, I think now it's time to go for a drive and uh, see how it all works. Hi. If you're interested in the Ride 903 or any other product, use the link below to get a big discount and support the channel. And don't forget to subscribe because that's, that's, that's good. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah. All right, back to the video. All right, so we're in the car now. Um, I just wanted to show you how it works in, well, when you're using it in practice. So uh, we're on the way into a local town. There's the screen. Now the first thing I've done is I've actually sat it on this, on the dash itself. Whoa, sorry about the bumpiness. Because otherwise it wobbles. So when you have it on the mount like that, on the windscreen, because of the length of it, it just wobbles a lot. So I've put it on the dash and it will stop the wobbling. So we have here Android Auto. We're using the maps right now. Um, going down the hill here. Ooh, look at that pretty here. And so this is just standard Android Auto, as you'd expect. Wow, it's bouncy. Sorry. Um, from, well, any Android Auto. It works really well. So I can obviously go over here and I can choose uh, multi-screen. So I can get, you know, for example, uh, on the left here, I can get Spotify. And, you know, I can choose all the apps that are on there. So I get my usual things that you know, would expect on an Android phone, you know, Messenger, which many of these you can't use while you're driving. That's Android Auto that does that, and that's fine. But you can also choose other maps. For example, I usually use Waze, which is here, rather than Google Maps, because I just like it better. 
Um, so that shows up like that. Now, let's have a look at the camera. So there's a little button there you can press and get the, the menu there. Oop, there we go. And we can choose the camera button. So now you can see we have both forward and rear facing cameras. And that works quite well. Um, so there's the front there, obviously, and that's the rear. And these um, pretty good quality. So what I'm going to try and do is, I can press on one here, we can actually lock it. So locked video, I found out, means that we are now storing this video clip on its own on the SD card. So that makes that a bit better. And then we can take a photo as before, etc. Um, and then there's actually an app, which I'll show you afterwards, which you can use to access the screen for the Wi-Fi, or for the camera rather, via Wi-Fi. It's quite neat. Um, one more thing I just wanted to show you as well is that in here there's an audio output a little bit tricky to see here it's a bit shiny today audio outputs you can actually get the audio from the screen in the car in four ways you can use this the speaker on the on the unit itself which is okay it's not amazing it's okay you can use bluetooth you can use fm so you can actually choose a frequency here that you didn't use on your radio which is down here yeah, on the radio and then you get the audio from this into your car speakers, which is quite nice. And then of course there's AUX, which is this little cable here you can plug in directly on the side. So that's the screen in action. It works quite well. Um, it doesn't do anything other than that on its own. You can use CarPlay, Android Auto, AirPlay, Android Cast, Wi-Fi video, which is through that app I'll show you. Uh, and then you can uh, use the camera. There you go, playback. Actually, the playback is there, so if you want to see the what we have recorded, we can go to video here, and you can actually play back these bits here. So there's one I recorded earlier. Um, so you can do that on the screen as well as the app I'll show you. So let's just go back here to Android Auto. There we go. So let's just go back to Android here, and we are now in town. So. That's the screen in action. Sorry about the bumpiness, but we are doing this live on the road. Um, <laughs> so that's how it goes. Okay. Now I did promise you we were going to look at the Wi-Fi video app that also can be used with the screen. But first, let's just look at the playback, which is where all of the you can view all the videos that have been recorded by the uh, camera front and rear. So we have a whole bunch of videos here. Actually, every minute there's a video. The loop is only a minute, that's a bit excessive, I think. But channel one is the front camera, channel two is the rear camera, so you can see all of those videos. Oh, hello. And then as we talked about, the lock videos is when you press the lock button on the camera, it actually saves that particular recording for you. So in this case, I have one here that I, when we went into town, remember I showed you before, I pressed the lock, that is the video that's now in a separate folder. So they're easier to find. And I'm hoping that it's 30 seconds before and after kind of thing, so that it, it, it saves before you press lock. I think it is. Um, I'm actually not 100% sure. Anyway, but let's have a look at the Wi-Fi video. So on my phone here, I have the video, video, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, the app that you use, which there's a, uh, a QR code for as well on the screen if you don't have it. And then it's gonna now, yeah, there it is, QR code. So now I now have to connect to the Wi-Fi off the screen. So I'm gonna do that, which is copyright something, something, something. There it is, copyright Wi-Fi or something, something, something. Okay, connected. And then I'm gonna go back to the app here. Okay, and now I'm gonna try and add the camera. So it's gonna connect from the phone to the screen. So I can add that. Oh, it actually changed just the camera now. There we go, camera connected. Fantastic. Um, and now I don't have a, well, I have the live view as well, I believe. So if I go here, yeah, that's the live view from the camera, or from the screen to the, to the phone, from the camera on the screen. Uh, I can stop recording by pressing that. So it says also here, stopping recording. I can play it again. I can take a photo, um, as you'd expect. Blah, blah, it goes to the phone. I can view all of, actually I can swap up here. I forgot that. There we go. We can swap to the rear camera. There we go, which is again, fallen down. My tape job didn't quite work, but hello, there we are. And we can then look at all of the files that are on the TF card, SD card on the camera, which is really useful. 
Uh, support automatic download of photos when using playback. No, I don't. I don't want to automate download, but thank you. Um, so here we have all the loops. And again, there's one for every minute. There's a lot of them. You can see I've been sitting in the car here looking out the front window. Um, but for example, there's from earlier when we drove into town. Um, there's some here you can see. So you can open it and you can then see this the rear um, camera showing there. So each of them, you can see the snapshots, which are the photos. And then of course, the locked videos, just like we looked at before, are also on here. So I can download them from the phone, which might be handy. Uh, and parking, I'm not sure what parking is. Uh, no parking videos. I'm not sure this screen support, maybe the parking mode. I'm not sure, let me know in the comments if you if you know otherwise. Um, and then there's some camera settings, which are just the settings for the camera. So resolution, loop, uh, recording duration. Again, we can change that to away from a minute, which you might wanna do, because there's a lot of videos. Um, we can change the Wi-Fi password for the screen as well, which is always one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by default, not amazing. Um, and we can see how much storage we've used on the SD card, 10 gigs out of 58. So um, that is the app. Now, if you use Android Auto, I'm not sure about Apple CarPlay. Android Auto is very, uh, propi propi what's the word? It wants to take over everything. So if you have Android Auto running, it will just connect to the screen and you can't use this app. So I had to disable Android Auto on the phone <laughs> in order for me to use this. So that's a bit of a quirk with Android Auto. It's, it's very difficult to get out of and not use if you set it up once. Um, but that's it. That is the uh, video app, whatever it's called, and, uh, and connecting to the screen. So I guess we can sort of sum up the screen in some pros and cons. Let's start with the cons. Um, Probably the main thing is that if this is used as a dash cam and I want to store the video, there's this locking function. But if I'm in, say, Android Auto with the maps, I got to get out of that into the um, um, camera app and then locking the screen or the, the video. It'd be nice if there was just a hardware button that did it for me. That would be much simpler. Um, I'm not sure about all these cables. There's a lot of cables. If I even add this auxiliary cable, there's three. And there's a lot of cable management. I'm not entirely sure how to do it differently other than maybe have an optional wireless rear camera. That might be nice that connects to it. Um, and then the third thing is that this bracket here, the suction cup is great. It sits on there and it doesn't droop if you get it mounted right, but it's very wobbly. I, it's, it's a bit too plasticky maybe for my liking, um, but if you lean it on here, it's fine. Now the pros, the screen. The screen is really nice. Like this um, nine, and a bit inch uh, widescreen here is super nice. Like it's really, really crystal clear. Uh, the format is right so it doesn't stick up too much. It's just, it's really good. I like the way that you can um, connect the audio four different ways with the radio transmitter as well as auxiliary and just a speaker in here and Bluetooth. That's quite nice. Um, and I like the camera quality. The cameras are actually quite nice. They're, they're decent quality for this. Um, so if you would like one of these screens, please consider using the link below um, and even use the discount code there for getting some extra dollars off. Um, that is probably the best way that you can support your channel. And uh, this is my first foray into automotive and I'm hoping there'll be more to it, maybe in terms of modifications that has to do with tech. Uh, but let's see, I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing if you did and uh, any comments or questions, put them down below and I'll see you in the next video. There and on the side here it has a uh, SD card oh, slot. Let's see if we can get that out. Is that a uh, uh, going well? Uh, hello, where'd it go?